The journey of a thousand miles, they say, starts with a step. <laughs> and they also say that little drops makes an ocean. On this note, I welcome you to Legend Life and Times with Francis Okoli. This is where we discuss legends. We talk legends. We discuss about legends, people that have really made their marks in this wonderful nation. You too can be talked about tomorrow. <laughs> it depends on what you are doing. What are you doing? Yes, today your anchor, your driver, your pilot, your coach, your captain, Francis Okole is saying, come in to whatever transportation means you want to take today because I am your pilot. I am leading you on this wonderful journey, legend life and times. Yes, tighten up your seatbelt, Whatever you may be, tighten up your seatbelts and let's go on this wonderful journey. Where are we going to in Nigeria? <laughs> you know, this is where we explore the country, tell you where so many of these legends are. So many of you don't really know these legends, don't really know where they are. Some don't even know that these people are Nigerians. Yes, we are going to Pategi. <laughs> where is Pategi? Is it not sounding somehow? Yes. Pategi is an emirate in the northern Nigeria. <laughs> northern Nigeria, but when the states were being divided, it has been carved into the Kwara, Kwara state, the recent Kwara state. And Pategi is a town, an emirate in Kwara state, the present Kwara state in Nigeria. And who are we talking about today? Who is this legend in Pategi? Yes. <laughs> We are talking about Usman Baba Pategi, also known as, shall I tell you, Samanja. <laughs> it is us that have been there that will remember Samanja, that funny old man that speaks Pigeon English, how Sam misses it, uh, just like the normal uh, 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 military, the, 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 the average military man speaks, because he too, uh, a retired uh, military man from the Nigerian army. So he, 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 just, he just put in the caricature of a retired Nigerian army Sergeant Major Sambeyo Samaja. Samanja retired, you know, he told you, I told you, he is from Pategi, now in Kwara State. A retired Nigerian army together with Yusuf Ladan, Mama Ladan, and Idi Jubril, they were NTA stars, and they introduced the comedy, the Hausa comedy that is popularly known now as the Carnywood. Carnywood, the Hausa version of, 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 of drama, of theater, just like uh, 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 Bollywood has it in India, and Hollywood has it in uh, America, Nollywood in Nigeria, and decided to carve their own Carnywood, the Northern speaking ones, and you know the lead, Ali Nuhu and Sadiq Daba of blessed memory, they are in the forefront and they are really doing it good. The Hausa version of the, and they speak, mostly speak the, the, the dirty Hausa, the dirty pigeon Hausa and the normal Hausa language. And they are called Carnywood, the Northern films, and what I'm even talking about, Samanja, if you are not in the 80s, the 70s, the 80s, you cannot know who we are talking about. We are talking about Usman Baba Patege. He was born on May 20th, 1942, 81. 81. Patege, not a Nigeria, I told you, is a Nigerian, a Nigerian, a retired army, and now a broadcaster. See, when you want to become a broadcaster, an actor then, you must pass through the broadcasting because he told you NTA, NTA trains professionals, and that is why what is we are emulating in Wisdom Yard Television. If you want to become an entertainer, you must become an all-round entertainer. So those people like the likes of uh, Zebudaya, Zebudaya, Elias Fortati, Elay uh, 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 Me, then they actually grew from the theater, from NTA, you know, there was nothing like uh, the normal television, the normal VHS, the normal TV, the normal uh, Netflix, uh, the normal Prime Video, nothing like that. 
they pass from the theater and go to the normal uh, territorial, the NTA thing, and they just they tell you, go and get a, 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 a we'll give you a slot, we'll give you a slot, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, go and gather yourself, and NTA will shoot it and air. That is the only medium, medium for airing these kind of things then. So you must pass through those processes. If you are not grounded, if you are not okay, if you are not sound, you cannot become a theater practitioner then. So Samanja fell into that, uh, that category from the north. That is why, you know, I told you in, 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 now we, we, we must tell, what we, we talk about legends, legends all over the country. Pateki was, was born on, the May, on May 20th, 1942, into the Royal House of Pateki Emirates in Pateki, Northern Nigeria, now Kwara State. He is the son of S2 Usman, Patako, late king of Pategi. He started his early education in Pategi, in Pategi Primary School and then went to Ilori Middle School. Then later he went to Kaduna to live with his uncle, Alaji Awudubida, which he became his assistant at home. He also worked with public works department in the mechanical store before joining Northern Broadcasting Corporation in Kaduna, the MBC. Told you that, uh, you know, it's a gradual process as a broadcaster. You must start. So many of them started as an apprenticeship. You know, the, the, you, you study, understudy somebody, understudy a veteran, understudy a sound broadcaster, and from there, you just begin to, to broadcast like the person. He joined the Nigerian Army in the 60s, where an army captain during the Nigerian Army war came looking for youth in northern Nigeria to, to volunteer. He left the Broadcasting Corporation to join the Army and trained at the Signal Training School at Papa. He served under General Sonny Abacha and General Sonny Somi. Later, he retired in 1984 and went on for acting career drama at the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, Kaduna, which he also directed and write, he direct and writes movie. movies. Mostly, he was known as Samanja. Maza Fama, the word meaning Sergeant Mayor, Sam Mayor, Sam Major, due to the experience he's got in the army career. He actually depicted uh, 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 the, the, the army in a very good form, not like nowadays when so many of our comedy uh, uh, skit makers uh, portray Nigeria in, in a very ugly way. And that is why you see that one, one, one was really picked upon and they want to sanction because. He is not really port uh, portraying Nigeria in a very good way. And I told you that uh, in, 2010, in 2010, it was in India for a surgery of a heart illness, which, he let, uh, which later 1.5 million was given by the chairman of Dangote Group, Alaji Aliko Dangote, which it was reported by the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN. You see, then it, it is not just, broadcasting is not just like that. You must pass through the training, the NBC, the Broadcasting Corporation, the Federal Radio Corporation, because, see, that's why I respect the likes of, uh, 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 I, I, I don't want to go too deep to mention names here, but they are veterans, they are veterans, I respect one in Ibadan. Nyonju Adegbi they, they, they pass through. You see, if you don't pass through those processes, forget it. Forget it then. And these are the likes of Samanja Jodu. Before you can become an actor, then radio and TV were just like five ounces then. And it is only owned by the government. The government, the HCA, the FRCN, the NTA 2 Channel 5, the NTA 7, the NTA 10, Channel 10, Channel 7, I tell you show. Uh, 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 formerly Channel 7, Channel 5 at VI, Channel then Enugu, Enugu, uh, Benin City, uh, uh, those are the, 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 the stations that were actually airing then, and the, the famous Ibadan station there, NT Ibadan station. I told you, Patagi is one of a uh, multiple Nigerian actor known as Samanja and Chika Okwala too, known as Ebudaya, mostly in the movie industry and were guest honors at the dinner of the art theater in the National Association of Nigerian Theater and Arts Practitioners, Nanta. Hmm. See there, there. He started acting. How did Samanja start acting? He was born into the royal house of an emirate, was also the heir of the Esupateki emirate, but pursued his dreaming career acting after reported being the main 
candidate for his father and great grandfather throne, and since he rejected the 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 the, 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 the throne for acting, he, he, he fell in love with acting. Fell in love. He just said, "Oh, let me portray Nigeria. Let me portray my country as as a very good." Uh, 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 country and that is one thing that we are telling young nigerian actors you see the way you call your country is the way they take you abroad do you think that there are no bushes abroad do you think there are no bushes when america will show you so many beautiful beautiful things in their movie you see america would want to do inventions and i would call actors come 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 and let let's go about and do it not to to bring the ugly side of your country to the world I uh, remember the time it was ritual, ritual, ritual then, and they act almost uh, uh, term every Nigerian as a ritualist. You see, we must be very careful the way we portray our country, especially when it comes to showbiz, because the way you call your country is the way they take you. Remember that this is Legend Life on Times with Francis Okoli. This is where we talk, we talk entertainment, we talk about notable people, not only entertainment. If you have made a mark in this country, you you must be talked about in Legend Life on Time. Tomorrow we can talk about you. Yes, you can talk about that. I pray that one day too, Francis Okole will be talked about. Don't forget that this program is brought to you by Wisdom Yard Nigeria Limited, makers of Nokwa Habao Beaters, Nokwa Flushers, Nokwa Habao Tonic, and Nokwa, all sort of Nokwa products here. And we cannot come here, we cannot come here every week without this support of Nakwa. You too can bring your services here. You too can call the station and bring one or two things you say here so that we can help you blow it up here on Legend Life on Time. Yes, we want to rest. I want to uh, uh, park so that my people will take Nakwa, take drinks and rest because we are taking a break. We are taking a break. See what we sell in Wisdom. Sweet art. <laughs> I can't afford to be late for this meeting. You gave me the same excuse every day. I always tell you the truth every... <laughs> you know I will never disappoint you. Everyone needs a hero like Nokpa. After Nopa. It is always Nopa. <laughs> <laughs> Nopa for management of power. Welcome back to Legend Life and Time, brought to you by Francis Okoli. We are talking about legends, notable people in this society. If you have made one or two marks in this country, you will definitely be talked about. Yes, we are. Where have we gone to? We are in Patigi. Exploring that uh, that Emirates, that Emirate, Patagi Emirate, in the present Quara stage, Patagi is in northern Nigeria. But when it was carved, it was carved into the present Quara stage, and Patagi now is officially in a, a, a Quara state. And we are talking about Usman Baba, popularly known as Samanja, the man that acts with the Nigerian army uniform, a retired army that has his own style of his own style, he, he speaks the, the, the pidgin English, the English and the Hausa, he misses me, you know, the normal Hausa man, hey, Kay, come here, Kay, you know the quote? He said, that is just the acting, you know, he's with the funny beers there, the Samanja thing, I respect him, you know, those people that, those of us that grew in the 80s, we really enjoyed his, his, his style of drama, his, his discipline, his ways of acting, and you know, we are talking about a, a, a very wonderful actor, a veteran, a legend that is being talked about today because he has contributed, contributed so many things into his uh, field. That is why we are talking about him today. Yes, Pateki was born, I told you, in the royal family house of, and I told you, he is a known, is a known, known broadcaster, is, is an actor, retired army, and uh, it, it was one that actually introduced the comedy, also comedy, into the film industry that is now known as Canny Wood. Canny Wood. He has a, a, a two surviving uh, uh, wives of three wives, children and 20 children. 20 children. <laughs> two, uh, two surviving wives of 
uh, uh, two surviving wives. He had three, but one actually died and two survived. Uh, and he's still with 20 children. And don't forget, we told you uh, he was born on the, on the 20th of May, 1942, into a rural house of Pategi Emirates in Pategi, Northern Nigeria, now Kwara State. He's the son of, an es of Esu Usman Pataku, late king of Pategi Emirate. He started his early education in Pategi Primary School. I told you that. I told you that. And he started his acting career, but, uh, born into the, the, he, but pursued his dreaming career acting after reportedly being the main candidate for his father and great-grandfather throne as Esu Pategi in Lupe Town in now Kwara State. His father was the Esu Usman Patago, the king of Patege, and also his grandfather was a king, which later his father succeeded him after death. He sack. <laughs> Imagine that. He didn't want to become a king because he wanted to become an actor. How many of us can just do that? Sacrifice him. You know, you know, you know, just just saying, no, I don't want to become a, a, a king. I want to add truth. If he had become the Etsu of Patege, he may have, he may not have been known as he's known today. He may not have been talked about in Legend Life on Time. That is why we tell you, be determined in whatsoever you do in life. He was determined to become an actor, to create a, to carve a niche, to create a name for himself in the northern Northern Nigerian drama. And today, if you cannot talk, if you're talking about Kani Wook and you don't talk about Samanja, sorry, you are not yet talking. And he told you that. So he, he, he left the kingship and wanted to become an actor, and he became an actor. And uh, Usman, his grandfather succeeded, he, he, he left the throne for his little brother, Esu Umar Chata, who died in 2017. And was succeeded by Umar, but he left it for the brothers to go and go and do the duty. He mostly appears as a police or soldier in their common practice and dramatized moves in the movie industry. When asked, he said, due to the experience he got as an army, I decided to use the way they react, moves and commands that where the name Samanja came on. The way Sergeant and Major do control and command the other ranks and stated that acting gives him more joy and happiness. That's why he retired and returned to his acting career. Don't forget he, he went to the army and came back and said no. He mostly performed in army day celebration. Even the one as General Ibrahim Babageda in Lagos and also Rock Presidential Villa Abuja and that of Marian Abacha. The popular actor, writer, director, stayed in the popular house of film known as Samanja, Yusuf Lada, Zaman Dunia, Yaone. Pateki got popular, got his popularity on, on the movie Samanja in the likes of Missing House, English, Pigeon, English, the way Nigerian soldier should I speak. Baba Pateki has three wives and 30 children. He lost one among his wives, Hajiya, Mary and Baba, at the age of 46. We are talking about Usman Baba Pategi, known as Samanja, the one that adorns the army uniform, the police uniform, portraying. I think the likes of them are, are, are no, not really, not really much that really portray the country the way they are on a very good note. Samanja Baba Usman Baba Pategi, born on the 20th of May 1942, retired army broadcaster and actor. Basically, in comedy, into comedy, the likes of Zebudaya, Chief Zebudaya, Chika, Opala, Eleimi, uh, uh, Clarus, Clarus, and the Gringori. You know, those days in the NTAs, and very funny. Remember Second Chance, Okonkwo, uh, Madame Kofu. <laughs> so many funny, funny characters, and we just wish they could come back. I thank God for Wale Adenuga of a, a, a Wally Adonika production that brought, uh, brought out Village Headmaster. But the, 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 the flavor, the flavor, the flow is not there because those people were really dedicated actors. They gave us their best. They acted even from the blood. And I respected the old, old, old actors. Not this uh, the recent, uh, this uh, new generation actors, new generation actors that act to the gallery, act because of money. I don't think those people were acting because of money. They were acting because of, they just wanted, the passion was there. They just wanted to prove that they had acting. The passion, they didn't act for fame. They didn't act for money. And that's why I respect them. How many of you remember one popular advert? Omo, Super Blue Omo, Super Blue Omo, and Temoku. 
Temaku, and make it higher. That advert was actually done by Zebudiah Chika Okwara. Yes, this has been Legend Life and Times. We've talked about Baba Usman Samanja of the Great Samanja series uh, uh, from, the, from Patege, the northern part of Nigeria. And he has been a legend that we have talked about today. We can talk about you tomorrow. We can talk about you tomorrow. On this note, I want to alight, I want to pack so that we take solid food because we want to get prepared for another wonderful journey. Journey, Legend Life and Times with Francis Okoli. I will come your way to take you on this journey. Always agile, always active because we are always going to talk about legends, people that have impacted greatly in this society. Till we come again on Legend Life and Times. It says bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.